This is a beautiful request from one of my good ukulele friends, Betty, and um, aren't we lucky that we have people, pets, friends, neighbors, nephews, grandkids, whatever, that we get to love. Let's learn this song together. You only need these chords to get you through, and I'll show you how to do finger picking and strumming. You need to go from a G to a D in this song. And I won't go over it here, but I'll link it down below in case you're interested. You have options on both the G and the D. You do not have to finger it the traditional ways. There's also an A in this song, and there is a B minor. Sorry, folks, I don't have good options for that. But if you're having trouble with bar chords, I have an exercise for you to do. You just lightly press your fingers, not pressing, so you get a muted sound. Down. Press up. So basically, it's, it's like those hand grippers. And so you're building up strength. And I would recommend not doing it just on the second fret, but doing that all the way up. working it all the way up to maybe even the seventh fret because your strings are further away from your fretboard as you're going down and so you've got to, it'll help build up your strength without damaging your hand. You can also uh, use this finger as a helper to get it to secure. Don't be afraid of barred chords. Embrace them, they do so many cool things. In the introduction, I'm gonna use a D sus to just minus one finger here on the D to D sus to. If you want to get really fancy though, consider playing a D at times, barring here and then and getting that beautiful high D sound. For the introduction, verses and pre-chorus, we're going to be doing a three versus C finger picking pattern. Your fingers get to stay on each string, they don't get to move around, which is which is good, makes it a good first pattern. Thumb is on the G, index on the C, middle on the E, and A string is picked up by the ring finger, and your fingers stay there. Your index finger on the C is going to be up, and you're gonna pluck all of these together. It's almost like a pinch. Thumb goes down, these two go up. And then we fill in the next beat with a C. That's why it's three versus C. Let's just do those on a D chord. Let's just practice a few of those. One, two, here we go. D. some trouble getting that all coordinated. I perfectly understand. Your brain understands it, but you've got to build that nervous pathway to get it to your hands. You may have to stop and practice, you know, just a little bit, maybe several days, maybe several weeks, but you will get it. It's a beautiful pattern. It's one of my favorites. Let's do just the chords together. No lyrics, the intro, verse, and then the pre-chorus. And this is the first verse. There's no B minor in there. Oh, and I should note that when it has a slash, that is just a plucking the three, three, and then a rest. So one, two, here we go. D, two, three, four, D sus two twice, and D, rest. D, two, three, and G, D.
sections. We have a chorus and a bridge. Let's take a look at that chorus. On the chorus, I'm going to switch up my pattern just to break up the monotony, keep it more interesting, build the song a little. So I'm going to do what I call a waterfall. Again, each finger is on a string like the three verses C, but I'm going to going from the G down to the A string. So we're going to do that as a triplet pattern. We're going to do, I'll do it on a G. Triplet two, triplet four, triplet two, Like that. Let's do the chorus and again those plucks on it. I'm just um, plucking those three strings, not the C, and then a rest. I've got a quick tip for you. The B minor might buzz a little, particularly on the A string, or at least it does for me. So I really am very conscious by getting to the A string that I'm putting a little bit of extra pressure. For me, it falls almost on this knuckle here, and so I put a little bit of extra torque on it. So one, two, here we go. D, E, B minor, and A, and G, D, E, B minor, and A, and G, and E, and B minor, and A. into a verse, unless we're going to the bridge. Let's talk about the bridge. I like to strum the bridge just to, again, give contrasts. And also, we're building the song to the very end and the very last of it. We're going to do single down strum. So let's do the bridge and the outro. I want this song to be super touching and moving. Bridge. A down. and slow. Let's do it together. One, two, here we go. G and a D, B minor and an A, and G and D, B minor and an A, and a G, then singing tip. When you listen to the original artist, and I think her name is pronounced Ruel, sing this, you know, it's beautiful, it's angelic, it's inimitable, and part of the reason you couldn't imitate it is because it's very processed. So unless you've got all that, you know, sound mastering going on, you're not going to sound like that. She probably doesn't sound like that when she does it as a, you know, without all that electronic, yeah. So my suggestion is always with good singing and particularly if you're trying to get a light quality you really need to support it with your breath and that means that you know your belly expands as you bring your air out and then it slowly contra contracts in to measure the air out i compare it to lifting weights yes you can lift the weight up but then if you release it slowly that's as hard if not harder. So maybe there's some weightlifters out there that know what I'm talking about. I would try to put a little bit of a breathy quality on it. Let's talk about some of the little high notes in the chorus where it just goes, I would think about almost 
going over the target and landing on it. Come and even arching your tongue in the back. It's some of the highest notes in the song. It's on an O, which doesn't have a whole lot of vocal resistance to it. So just think of like gently lighting down on it and and then getting off of it. Don't don't try to stay there. Don't try to put vibrato on it, you know, and lengthen it. Just hit it and move on. Yeah, so um, tips for people that, you know, we're not professional singers, so this is a way to kind of, you know, do a little what they do and make ourselves sound better. If you'd like the chord chart for this with all the annotations and the finger picking that I've done, please become a patron and it's only $3 a month and you get access to all my chord charts and two Zoom sessions a month and there's a seven day free trial if you're, you know, kind of curious. So check it out on Patreon. Thank you so very much to all my patrons. I could not do this without you. One look, that's where you're going to start singing those with bitches. One, two, here we go. One look at you.
hope that this helped you on your ukulele journey. I hope you have a beautiful song to add to your repertoire that is really a heartfelt message about love. YouTube should be suggesting things here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and, and share. I can't believe how many people share this, uh, my videos on WhatsApp. Thank you to all of you that watched the end, and thank you so much to my patrons.